uh, welcome back so in the previous video we have been discussed about the different uh, mixing process how we can able to be done in that particularly in that uh, mixing process milling is also one of the uh, mixing process where we have been done so now we are going to discuss about the this mainly is about a uh, problem that we are going to define a problem with then a differential indexing so mainly the why the differential indexing is needed in uh, particularly in making any milling is because of the gear cutting as we know that the gear cuttings are very important in order to uh, gears are in order very important in order to transmit the motion or power from one form to the other especially mainly when the gear uh, drives are being used or any gear drives has been mainly in the form of driver gear and the driven gear so two gears mainly it will be run in order to perform or to transmit the motion so that is a driven gear and then a driven gear as we know that the gear cuttings are gears are mainly used in order to transmit the motion or power for example if you take in any two wheelers so whenever you want to increase or decrease the increase or decrease the speed the main thing what we going to do is the shifting of the gears will takes place so whenever we going to shifting the gears automatically the this uh, gears will move from one position to the other position in order to reduce or to in order to increase the speed of that particular engine so how it can able to be reduced or increase the speed by initially if that is depends upon the type of an gears we have been used and how many numbers of uh, gear uh, gears will be there on that particular uh, gear wheel so this is how we can able to be make any gears so the gears are mainly with the different form that as you know that uh, for gear helical gear and bevel gear so the applications also will be the different for any uh, different types of gears or gear drives where we going to perform so mainly the gears have been uh, used for any shorter distance in order to transmit the power or motion for the shorter distance So now we are going to see about the problems on differential indexing. How we are going to fix the indexing plate, and how we can able to calculate the gears, and how many number of uh, drivers or driven is required, or whether we required an idle gear or not. We can able to uh, find out by using this differential indexing method. Yes. So now we will discuss about the that is a numerical problem on differential indexing. so the indexing is nothing but it is having an index place the particularly on the milling machine in order to fix the or in order to change or in order to perform the gear cutting machining process first we need to fix the index l gear uh, that is on the index place so in, in index there will be 83 divisions on the workpiece so the dividing head of the indexing normally will be to change the gears we have in a different range of numbers starting from 24 to 100 so this all the teeth uh, that is uh, the indexing plate or the indexing number will be there so for based on the workpiece and how many gears to, has to be cut on that particular workpiece we need to find out by using this differential index indexing so for uh, that is normally how we going to uh, cut any gears in the the machines so in this how we going to do is index 80 uh, in this uh, differential indexing so now we going to identify how many number of gears uh, whether uh, whether the driver gears or the driven gears are required and whether an ideal gear is required so based on the given conditions we going to find out the, all this in this uh, differential indexing method so we have an a compound indexing method and then a differential indexing method so both are similar here first we going to discuss about the differential indexing method mainly for the milling where we can able to use to or cut the gear drives so first we'll say about the problem so index 83 divisions on the workpiece so they given a data of index 83 divisions on a workpiece so the dividing head in a differential index is supplied with the change gears so the dividing head that will be there in the machine that is giving in a different indexing is supplied with the change gears so the change gears number is 24 24 24 28 32 40 44 48 56 64 72 86 and 100 so this is how we going to uh, they have given the supplied with the change of gears so the moment of differential indexing will takes place so first what we need to do we need to find out the index crank moment what is the index crank crank moment is so the index what they have given is 80 the index crank moment what we can able to see is the index crank moment is 40 by n the formula is to find out the 40 by n now the index this is the formula or what we need to suppose to find so 40 by n 40 they have given the n is nothing but index divisions So already the index divisions they have given as 83. So now 40 by n instead of n the number of divisions will be 83. So this is the index crank moment. Now to find out the gear ratio, a by a minus n by 40 by a. Already we know the uh, n is nothing but the number of divisions on the workpiece and a is the the assumed number nearest to the n. So the assumed number nearest to n that can be indexed by simple indexing. 
in this they have given the supply chain gears so uh, index number what we got is 83 by assuming the nearest number to the 83 is nothing but we have only two numbers that is 72 and 86 so comparing with the 72 and 86 the nearest number to the indexing is 86 so we can able to consider this as an 86 because the n will be the number of divisions and the workpiece and a will be the number of uh, that is a number assumed that in the simple indexing so now Based on this only we can able to find out the gear ratio that is a minus n by 40 a minus n into 40 divided by a. So next we are going to see about how we can able to find out now we know the n and a. So coming to the next. So now let assume that number a. A, a is nothing but an a. The n is nearest to the 83 so hence we have been considered the a. Now the gear ratio becomes therefore the gear ratio will be what is the formula we have a minus n divided by 40 into a now coming to that a minus a is having a for 83 and uh, 86 minus 83 and 40 that is divided by 40 into 86 now when you're going to divide that it will be in the form of ratio that is 40 by 86 into 3 3 into 40 by 86 so this is the what the gear ratio will be coming now now when you divide this gear ratio by uh, using this gear ratio formula a by n minus 40 by a now the gear ratio value what we got is 3 into 40 into that is 3 into 40 divided by 86 now coming to the numerator and denominator of this is in the fraction method now the numerator and denominator of the fraction that is 40 by 86 indicate the so this 40 by 80 indicates the value of the driving gears on the index head so the value that is the numerator and denominator fraction that is 40 by 86 indicates the value of uh, driving gears on the index head spindle and the driven gears on the index plus uh, index plus uh, respectively say that is 40 by 86 is driving gears and the driven gears on the index plate now to find out the gear ratio diameter already we know the gear ratio is diameter of the driver by diameter of the driven already with the gear ratio what we got is 3 by 40 into 86 Yes, so 3 into 40 that is what the fraction value we got and 72 into 24 bar 40 into 86 that is a driven gear what we got we have been taken that 76 as in a ratio so now the diameter of the driver and the di uh, diameter of the driven is so now taking that uh, list number so the, the fraction gear ratio what we got then the diameter of the driver is so next to that nearest number is 72 into 24 bar uh, into 40 divided by 86 86 is the number which we have been assumed so that is the gear ratio of the diameter of the driver and the diameter of the driven now by calculating the index moment by using a so now the index crank moment will be 40 by a 40 by a is nothing but 80 by 40 by 86 that is 20 by 43 that will be the for each division now how we can able to substitute is in the initial we have been seeing that a minus n so n is nothing but the number of divisions now a minus n will be equal to 86 minus 83 86 the a 83 what the index number we got and the 86 is what the we have been assumed nearly so by substituting that a minus n so it will become the value will be the 3 so now the index crank movement for each division will be the 3 so that 3 is nothing but a positive value greater than the ratio in the compound since the two drivers and two driven have been used hence the no idle gear is required so in this the differential indexing we got in a positive now value that is 3 is in a positive value and that is comparing with the gearing ratio in the compound since uh, it will be having the true uh, two drivers and two driven are used hence here in this particularly for this the differential indexing and particularly for using these values we don't require the uh, ideal gear also not required so only two drivers and two driven are sufficient in order to uh, make this indexing for a crank movement so now uh, based on this value the positive drive what we can able to see is what the ratio we are getting so it is the greater than the gear ratio hence the 3 is nothing but in a positive value for uh, for indexing of 83 divisions and the workpiece so 3 is a positive value 3 is a positive value so for this value the gearing ratio and the compound uh, two drivers and two driven are been required for this machining process or to make and this number of gears by using this differential indexing can be performed in the gear trains so as you know that mainly there are different types of gear trains so all the process will be done in a similar way
Thank you.